In today's video, we were going to take a look at the Nikon F2S. But due to certain circumstances, I think it's time to get out a drink before we begin the review. You'll see why just in a bit and I'll give you time to get out a drink as well, because if you love old cameras, you are going to need it. Cheers. With that part taken care of, let's get into the review. Reason we needed to take something to drink to begin with is due to the condition of this camera. We would have liked to test out a fully functional F2S, but I'm helping someone value this example after they found it in a house they bought. Turns out it's been lying there for the past 20 years in a damp bag. And it has really put its toll on the camera itself and on the lenses especially. The lenses, as you can see on the close-up shots of them he here, are covered in fungus to a point where it's almost like a lens coating itself. It is really, really prominent in the 50mm 1.8, but it's also visible in the 28mm f2. Both lenses are past the point of no return in regards to fungus and they can't be saved or at least they won't be worth saving. The camera body itself on the outside looks kind of nice. It has some wear marks which is expected for a 50 year old camera but when it comes to functionality in general a lot of things have taken it to a toll on the camera. The mirror box itself is rusted and corroded to a point where it's actually a miracle the, mir the mirror and shutter still kind of works. The shutter, when talking about it, works. It can open and it can close. And it works on certain shutter speeds from 1 30th up to around 1 500th. Anything faster and the shutter won't open and anything slower and the times are so far away from the point that it's practically useless. One second varies from 4 to 8 seconds. So yeah, there's also a big variation in the sh shutter times. Electronically, the camera is also dead, meaning that the light meter in the, in the finder doesn't work. The finder in so itself is in incredibly poor condition due to moisture getting into the mirrors. Nikon made the F2 and the DP2 finder with a penta mirror instead of a penta prism, meaning that if moisture get in, gets in there, it will ruin the mirrors, like you can see on these shots, both of the the prism itself and off looking through the camera. It is really, really prominent, but luckily for us when using the camera, it did not cover the focusing spot. We went out and tested the camera regardless of the poor condition and you are going along with us on that trip as well. But for now, this is probably best described as a piece of garbage. Cheers. Now we are out from the studio, out in the botanical gardens and the museum in Aarhus to actually test the camera. We know all the problems and the limitations of the camera after it's been stored for 20 years in a, in a damp bag. There's not a lot to say other than the camera isn't 
as said, is in poor condition, so we actually don't know if we're going to get any photos today. But that's not the point of doing this video. It's all cheap film. I know it works, but I would not recommend using anything expensive on cameras in such poor condition as this one. Let's go take some photos. Fantastic. One of the places we usually go when visiting the old village is down here and you'll see why in just a second. <laughs> These very noisy guys are always here. One of the other places here in the old town that is ama an amazing photo location is right in here in the back alley at the Blickenslayer or as it's in, the, in English the Brass Worker. Reason being is that there's a perfectly restored old Volkswagen Beetle in here and it just shines in these back at his location. Thank <laughs> you. 